There are these species that are so amazing that their genus name is Magicicada. Magicicada septendecim, which means the 17-year magic cicada. What's so magical about them is they come out only once every 17 years. And when they come out, there's millions of them per acre. Yep, the cicadas are coming. There are already some in the brood that have emerged, adults that have emerged further south. This brood two range goes all the way from around Albany as the northern extent, all the way down to South Carolina. The periodical cicadas are the longest living insects in North America. And people have noted it since they first came, um, you know, whoever has been living, in, the Indians knew about it. Settlers came and realized they came out, and nowhere else in the world are there these vast emergences of cicadas, only the eastern United States. Well, I, the big thing is, it's 17 years since um, they, uh, the eggs were laid. The females do choose the ends, the um, tender tips of trees to lay their eggs. Their ovipositor goes in and they lay about 20 eggs at a time, and they can lay up about 500 eggs um, uh, in their, their lifespan. And then the eggs hatch after a few weeks and fall to the ground. Um, they're little nymphs, and they dig down until they reach a root. Life is crawling from root tip to root tip, sucking the juices from the roots of particularly deciduous trees like oaks and maples, which we have a lot of here. Um, they feed slowly, they molt four times underground. What we're finding now is that uh, they have dug their exit tunnels so in the woods here and probably in people's yards um, they're going to be seeing these holes and possibly the nymphs at the top of them. These tunnels sometimes have these little turrets, these edges built up around or actually caps over the top, um, probably protecting them from excessive rain. One of the things is when the soil temperature eight inches down is 64 degrees uh, for more than two or two consecutive days. That signals them that the weather should be warm enough, stable enough for them to emerge. You can see the little front legs there hooked for climbing, uh, strong for digging. They have um, wing pads. Their wings are all folded up underneath here and those beautiful long wings. It's amazing that those big long wings can fit in those little wing pads. Um, once the adults um, split that, that exoskeleton of the nymph, they're going to crawl a tree, split that exoskeleton, and the adult will crawl out. They'll have that dark brown black body, bright red eyes, and the wings will be, again, translucent with those orange veins in them. And then another couple of days before they can actually start calling, they, they're, um, everything needs to be very dry and, and sturdy. What you hear is, at first it just sounds like noise. It's like the main sound you hear around here, Magisticata septendecim. It's called the pharaoh sound. You hear pharaoh. That's what one sounds like, but millions of them sound just like There's a distinctive pitch you hear. There's a, there's a tone to it. And what John Cooley and David Marshall discovered is that the, the, these cicadas have the most complicated acoustic mating ritual of any insect. But what these two scientists found is the females need to make another sound. They make a wing flick. The, after the male goes, Pharaoh, here's a wing flick. Then he goes, the second sound, then another wing flick. And then he goes to the third sound, and then he climbs on top of her and mating begins. I really want people to know that uh, they don't bite, they don't sting. Um, you can pick them up, you know, they're, they're, they're not dangerous, uh, they're not harmful. They're not going to destroy your garden, your plants. Um, some people are concerned that they're not going to be able to sleep at night. They don't call at night, they only call during the day. You cannot ignore the behavior of an insect that comes out once every 17 years. So, um, yeah, so enjoy them and, and appreciate them for what they are. I hope to seek them out and hear their, hear their calls this year.
celebrating the beauty and wonder of what's there and the phenomenon of 17 years to Cade is this one amazing thing that we're privileged enough to live in an area and in a time when it's coming out we really should make, make an effort to, to ponder it, experience it, think about it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>